Hello everyone and welcome back to episode number 19 of All the Mods. So, last episode we made our awesome Jigama Bob that is a floor down, where we made ourselves some automated lithium through the making, well, the dust form of li lithium. Yeah. Because you get brine, lithium, the liquid one, then you need the gas one, where you, we have the rotary condensen condensentrator for that. And then from the gas, gas, you can get the lithium dust. Yay! And of course, all in an automated way so that we just have to do nothing and can be here and whoop. We always have a certain amount of that stuff in our inventory. I think we did also something else, which I completely cannot remember because it's actually quite a while ago. And also, happy Halloween, by the way. <laughs> yeah, because today is the 31 and I'm recording this a few hours before it goes live, ho hopefully, probably because I'm out of com completely out of the backlog and therefore yeah but today we are going to do some cool things at least I think so first of all we are going to set up a new battery yes we have the stuff now of course I taught our system how to make this big 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 battery because especially the ultimate induction cell is yeah crafting intense let's say that way you need the energy tablets <laughs> yeah the reader is going to die a few times while well yeah <laughs> maybe uh, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, that needs the energy tablets, then it needs the elite induction cell, which is for of the advanced, and advanced is for basic, and yeah, you get just a little bit of crafting intense stuff to do. Especially until you get to the ultimate induction cell, and I didn't want to make the ultimate thingy because I think 512 kilojoule, which is more than those cables can actually handle will be enough I think so let's see if not well we can always increase that also so let's get rid of some stuff here yeah and those cables take uh, forever and a little bit to break so let's break those and wait and wait and wait so we need right in the middle here will go the thermal ever what the nope the induction port what why is Wayla yeah Wayla is a little bit derpy at times S don't know why since 1.10 it's always a little bit meh and that, uh, of course I'm remembering now that I completely forgot to make ourselves something from mechanism and I totally the configurator yeah that's the one so what do we need enriched alloy and an energy tablet enriched we need uh, let's make a bunch of those and an energy tablet bam bam auto crafting for the world and now let's make the configurator because otherwise we cannot configure him properly bam done awesome so let's get back out there and we need some induction casings nope not back there and we won't have any space left in here after we built this battery but well let's that to you and so we need actually one more yeah come on why am i misclicking that much today so let's get rid also of that one here so basically it's a multi-block structure that you build you can have it a certain size and 
Um, I don't know the exact things, but there is always the wiki and such stuff that you can take a look at because I'm always very dopey if I need to say those things. You know me. So you can be that. Fill you up here. And also you. Bam. And now the ultimate induction cell, which is actually the, prov uh, the storage cell. And then we get the provider, which gives us the possibility to actually access it. Bam, multiplox structure. And we get an input of 12.5. Whoa, it's nighttime. Even, ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. I didn't even know that. So let's see how much stuff are we going to get. Come on, sleep, sleep, sleep. Probably a ton. Yeah, just 12.5 kilojoule. Really? Really? Is there something blocking? No, probably shouldn't be. Huh. Okay. That's not that much. Huh. Maybe. Why? You are an input, right? Should be. You get energy, yeah. And let's also fill you up. Because otherwise, me, mm, not that good. So come on, come on, come on. Do your thing, load up, load up, load up. And you are configured. And if we hit you, transfer mode to output. No, we want this to be an input. Perfect. And then on the bottom, of course, we want to have the output. Output. Yay. So I'm a little bit worried that there is a little bit of hmm, strangeness going on here because he should output loads more than just those 12k. You are completely fine. Hmm. Weird. Very weird. Maybe something wrong with the tips. Let's see. Did you change at all? Nope. Still. Really? Huh. That's very weird. Now you are outputting like crazy. Yeah, that's what I thought. But you can still not output enough stuff. Which is not nice. Why are you derpy like that? You should actually get loads and loads of energy. Because at least 320k. Of the jewels, of course. Which is about 128k RF. And you apparently are not. So why not input? Yeah, see, you should be able to do 512,000 kilojoule. Huh. Now you are getting something. Yeah, now you are getting a lot more energy. Why is that? Hmm. Very strange. Actually, probably maybe it's working and it's just a little bit dopiness going on. You are inputting as fast as you output and that's probably why you are not charging up. So if we would now stop you, because we actually completely don't need you, you still got only 400 RF per tick. Really? Kidding me? Huh. That's weird. And you are still... Yep. So probably what we are doing here is completely wasting energy. Is it because it's another cable type here? Nah, can't be. Hmm. 
Nope. Let's disconnect you for a second, just to be safe and see if that's the issue. Because otherwise, I'm really not clear there what could be. Nope. Hmm. Unit RF. That's a little bit better. But still, you are not doing what you should do. not enough RF that's coming in here. Yeah, definitely. Why? Aren't you guys producing? You should be. Let's get maybe a capacitor. Do we have some? Nope. But can we make one actually? No, nah, let's not do that. Hmm. Very strange here. You should be doing better here. And fill up. Are we using? Nah, we are never using that much of energy. Well, are we? Do we have an, a surplus only of 500? Tick? RF? Nah, that can't be. I mean, it's, eh? Huh, because we hooked up also now a few more lines, it's actually not doing what it should do. Aren't you connecting properly? Let's make those vibrant capacitor banks. Just to see if there is something else that's not right here. So while that's cooking, let me show you guys and girls. Ooh, fancy. We got the new blood altar. Uh, tier 5 now, because that was just for beacons. Don't worry, the old thing is still over there, the manual one. But of course, we despise manual labor work. And therefore, let's automate this. Yes. <laughs> so you can see. Down here, I already prepared a little bit of an area. It's where our potatoes and thing farm from Ender.io is. And back down here, we got some cobble, uh, not cobble, obsidian. Should turn way on maybe. Then <laughs> it would be not so derpy, maybe. So let's see. Da, 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 da. Where are you? There are you. Green back, master ritual stone, and of course, normal ritual stones. And we are going to make ourselves a well of suffering. So, you and where is my ritual diviner? Well of suffering and troop de whoop. You should have enough space, hopefully. Yes, perfect. Everything peachy. Nice. So, no, don't tell me. I don't like that. Because right down here, I wanted to place down the lamps. But that, of course. Ah. Do we want the lamps to be uh, somewhere else? Maybe. Stop placing torches, please. Go away. Thank you. Okay, so for now they can stay how they are because we also are going to need some drop of evils to make the mobs spawn. And let's get in there. Ooh, do we have reinforced doors? Probably, but we have nowhere something that we can use for that, right? Reinforced doors 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 need yeah and plates actually probably not even that big of an issue because we should be able to not you nope 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 where is my hammer not here let's make one one of you with some Iron, we should have enough iron to make that. And some lead. 
boom and that should be giving us a reinforced door awesome let's get also a lever because otherwise meh not so good booms could happen and we wouldn't be able to go in there so how about that vibrant capacitor bank thingy nope still not done well did you get stuck probably somewhere yeah electrical steel in the making that's probably done everything maybe so while that's cooking let's go down there and hopefully not get completely stuck do, 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 do. reinforced door yeah with good old lever then we can now go in there and that and do we have some drop of evil over here drop yeah we have awesome yeah, probably let's snag a few we have enough so if we oh awesome even the whole thing get done that's nice let's get out of there close the door and activate the ritual and then hopefully we should see Roosh. yes awesome and now we also should see Ooh, nice automation first step nice and we are already almost full really <laughs> are you kidding me yeah i got a few of the sacrifice runes just a smidge and just one of the speed runes but what do you want mr enderman mm. Mm. i don't like you so what else are we going to need well we are going of course the automating automation way so first of all let's make a liquid monitor Whoosh. We need some conduits, which I probably have right in my green bag. Yes, we got that. We need also to vacuum up all the goodies and we need some lamps. So you can go there and then let's see what we can come up with. I should have probably made the lamps before we yeah that could have been a good idea maybe so the biggest question is how many lamps we are going to need so you are not right here nope really completely full yeah we are sucking up the goodies here let's get rid of that and place another lamp and then hopefully at least somehow prevent a few mobs from spawning maybe probably not but hey uh, we don't need you we don't need you or you we don't need any lapis eh, a little bit cleaner not that much but let's get a few levels Ooh, luckily we have some boom boom let's see how are you spawning in there still like crazy probably right yeah so let's make another one here boom turn you on and the next one can be here now maybe we have enough nope but almost what close up here something got out mini skeleton mini skeletons die i hate those ah well he died from the well of suffering probably <laughs> 
So we need a few more lamps. Which actually probably can be just one right here. So do we have lamps? We got a blue lapis lamp. Maybe that's working out. I have no idea. So you. Yep, yep, you are working peachy. Perfect. So right in the middle of here. Let's break that cursed elves thing. Get you. Vacuum chest. Perfect. Let's see the range. Even better. No filter. Whoa, why is there stuff spawning? Crazy. There's enough light here. Ooh, nice. It's working. So you, please, close. And how do we turn you off? Probably with a signal? No. Is there no? Mm, we need another lamp. Yeah, but the theory is done. We can spawn stuff and it's working. So let's hook this also up to our awesomeness of system. Actually, probably not. Let's see how far our thingy is. Come on. Don't die. Where am I? In our obsidian work thingy. So, how is our vibrant thingy? Yep, it's done. Let's also get rid of some stuff here that we don't need you and let's get the thing here. But first we should probably get rid of a few seconds so that we don't by mistake charge him up, which would be bad. Well, not really that bad, but so you are still not getting anything really what would be interesting so let's get rid of you let's place you there you get nothing you output please only with a redstone signal and you still get nothing which is apparent because it's night time so let's sleep Come on, sleep. Thank you very much. And now let's see. Do we get no stuff? And we are lagging like crazy. Yeah, we got about 25. If I do that, we are also outputting like completely crazy now. You are getting 25 kilo RF. Yep, that's actually what I want to see. But you are not outputting anything, probably because we are full. So we probably should make a few more of the capacitors, which could not hurt. So let's make two more of those, set those also up, but vibrant. So you, bam, bam, done, awesome. So what else do we want? for this episode probably some way how we can store the stuff so i'm thinking a little bit of another refined storage system just a small one for the mob drawbatch but or should we do a draw system with auto voiding or should we just input it completely directly into whoa is this new whoa that's really awesome looking actually ha huh, nice nice like it really like it so we got millions of stuff yeah and also those are almost full 38 or 83 and 86 percent yeah so how about our vibrant you are cooking up the alloy what would you say if i would request another one of those because probably
what we could do. Maybe. Hmm. Nah, also not really. Not really liking those ideas that are coming to my mind right now for the storage system. Uh, well, I think maybe five minutes early this episode. Man, why not? So let's finish up here. I will think about something and also collect the stuff over there cheap between the episodes so that we know how to store all our goodies that we are getting through the stuff down there and you hopefully will die pretty soon oh, damn, damn. thank you also i need to still decode or encode the video and upload it and i want to have it pronto at 8 pm uh european thing time rome it's about that <clears throat> yeah so sorry, my voice is also getting a little bit derpy now and also my brain is a little bit derpy now. So uh, for now, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this episode and as usual, should you have enjoyed it, I would appreciate if you could drop me a like and if you are new to the channel, you could consider yourself also subscribing and for now, thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye-bye.